staring at your breasts and making stupid remarks. Okay, I'm the only one really here. Mom, I got tired of waiting in the car <laughs> listening to Tim's stupid show tunes. Are you done ripping down apart yet? One day, you will understand the greatness behind Liza Minnelli. Have we gotten to the point where father destroyed me as a man yet? <laughs> we never started on it, but then Jane walked in and we got on this non-existent affair with her. You couldn't even have an affair correctly. Nothing happened, and they call you the man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. And by the way, I am Jane. How rude of me. This is my daughter Kelly and my son Tim. <laughs> Lovely children. They have your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. My mother was actually quite lovely before my father destroyed her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you about Mr. Supplication over here. Ever since I was 16, every boy I brought home wasn't good enough. He needed a haircut. His eyes were too close together. He had a small penis. Don't ask me how I figured that one out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I gave up, started hanging out in bars to meet people. Now I'm 35 years old with a drinking problem and no man in my future. Mm. By the way, the boy with the small penis, definitely not true. <laughs> he appreciated Liza the one he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again, we're, oh, sorry for the delay. We're up to number six. Are you sure you don't want to reschedule? <laughs> reschedule? No, heck no. Nah, you could get 500 bucks an hour for the therapy that's going on out here. Right. We're piling on his problem. This is helping all of us. By the way, doctor, my name is Tim. I have the feelings of being inadequate in most areas of my life. This is my sister, Kelly, Jerry's daughter. She's drunk, old, and easy. Mm -hmm. This is my mother, beaten down emotionally by my father. And Jane, who he couldn't have an affair with. She can't hear you. You are in my head. Yes, I definitely need to see you today. Well, it won't be long. Well, where were we? Oh, yes. The complete failing at doing everything. Hold on. I was successful at some things. <laughs> Name one. Mookie Wilson and Lenny Dykstra. What the hell are you talking about? Mookie Wilson and Lenny Dykstra the starting left fielder and center fielder for the 1968 Mets. I've been studying. That was the 68 Mets, you dyslexic idiot. Cleon Jones and Tommy Agee were the 68 Mets. God, I'm surrounded by stupidity. I can't do anything to please you. No wonder you hate me and Kelly. Yeah, I showed an interest in theater, and you never came to any of our plays or musicals. Well, that's because Twinkle Toes here always played the leading lady, and you just played with the leading man. Well, they are your children, and they could use your support. Right, Jane? Listen, I really don't want to get involved in your family problems. I really have to run. We must get together for drinks sometime. I know this great Martin Mar Martins. Lots of men. Oh, that sounds lovely. Kelly, you're drunk. You can join us also. <laughs> What am I? Chopped liver? Oh, of course you two. Bye for now, Jane. I just planned in my mind a drinking and man pickup date with my ex-wife, my almost ex-mistress, my daughter, and my son. Yes. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Are you going to talk about the special toilet paper? What special toilet paper? The special toilet paper mom let us and guests not the cheap stuff? No, I knew nothing about the special toilet paper. Can't explain? Oh, it was no big deal. I must have forgotten to tell you. No, that. no, Mom. You said it was on a need-to-know basis. Like, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> yeah, no wonder Twinkle Toes knew about it. No, knew nothing on the special toilet paper and me with hemorrhoids. Go figure. <laughs> Anything else I didn't need to know about that I can add to my list? Indy Chavez? The 2008 Mets, you dope. Look, we're never going to be good enough to please you, so we might as well go. Come on, Kelly. I've got a Judy Ar Gar Garland album we can listen to. Who? Well, 
look, I, I hope you feel better and good luck in your new life. God, I need a drink. All right, now that they're gone, let's talk about your parents and how they raised you. No, we are not getting into my parents. I do not want to spend the rest of my life in therapy. Once again, you don't want to confront the issues that are making you feel inadequate. Your mother was the reason for your sexual issues, and God knows we can blame pages of things on your father. Let's just review for those that are taking notes. Although everyone seems to think I'm not gay, to keep bringing it up as a possible problem. <laughs> My ex-wife, almost adulterous, son and daughter, are going out on a drinking and man pickup date that I set up. My therapist is either ignoring me, or she's got a person with more than seven personalities in front of me. Oh, and speaking of my therapist, she may want to have sex with me, at least I think so in my mind. God, I hope I get seen soon because I feel my penis getting smaller as we speak. Well, if that should be enough for you to talk with the doctor about, if you need any more, just think of us. Yeah, thanks. You've been very helpful. Hey, excuse me. I don't know you. Where did I think you were? Uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm here to see the doctor. I, I was told there'd be nobody in the waiting room. Oh, you're real. I'm sorry. Sorry. Have a seat. She's having a backup of neurotics. Uh, you know, I'm on my lunch hour. Maybe I should just come back another time. No, no. It won't be long. I've sorted out most of my problems sitting out here. You... I heard she was good, but sorting out your issues before even seeing her? Well, that's damn good. Well, most of it's in my head, except for the uh, small penis problem. Small <laughs> penis? Can't perform here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they make a little blue pill for that. Oh, Brian, it worked too well. Four hours of pain. Oh, man. Uh, sorry to hear that. How did you, uh, pardon the pun, handle that? I did what with any red-blooded male would do, kill an erection. Watched Oprah and, and Ellen. Yeah. Uh, that'd do it. Hey, listen, you going in ahead of me, I can always reschedule. I'm feeling a lot better about myself. Sure, that's pretty nice of you. No worries. Like I say, I'm feeling better about myself. Yeah, so much for feeling better about myself. Sorry. I've got to tell you one more thing that bugs me about you. Haven't you done enough for one day? Excuse me, who, who are you talking to? My ex-wife. Your ex-wife? Here? Yeah, you want to meet her? Uh, no thanks, I, ha 